Hello there guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Supernatural Part something, because I don't remember, I never remember what part it is. I'm talking kind of low, just because of the purpose that um, my parents may or may not be sleeping upstairs right now. It may only be 9 o'clock, but I, I just don't understand adults anymore. Nope, I don't. So, <laughs> I don't know why, I'm actually kind of hyper right now. I was really in the mood to record out of nowhere, and I was like, let me do Supernatural, let me just get out of the way because I've been procrastinating way too much, and I really just need to get a video out, and especially with Supernatural, since I haven't done it in such a long time, and I know a lot of you love this LP and have been waiting to see more of this, so here you go! Um, also, um, uh, I haven't really played this since Seasons came out, so... Yes, um, you're gonna start seeing seasons and how it kind of affects the supernatural a bit, and we'll check out the Weatherstone and all of that eventually, um, and all the special abilities that they will be getting. Um, yeah, one thing, uh, <laughs> we really need to start getting expanded on this house and getting money and all of that, because our sims are freaking poor. Like, sure, they have, may have 6,000, but, um, if we want to upgrade this house and, um, all that, we're gonna have to, you know, what is it called? Chopping? What is it? I, I don't know. Chop, chop. I, I don't. I don't know the phrase. Pleh, forget it. Brain fart. So yeah, we gotta get started on that. And <laughs> as I did once with my super no with my so many Sims games that start with S's. Showtime. There we go. As I did with Showtime, I did one special episode in which I used cheats. So guess what I'm doing in this part? I am using cheats just solely for this part because I feel like it. I'm in that kind of mood today. Yep. And you dirty minds. Some of you just want somewhere else. Mmm, sit down. Sit down. So, yeah. Um, this episode in which we use cheats. And Haley. Haley? Oh crap, what's her name? Jane. <laughs> Haley. Gosh darn it, I've been watching too much Montreal. Um, just found out that she is having a child now. We already knew that, but she didn't. So the little baby noise went off, and now she knows that she is preggers. So what I'm actually going to do is, um, she's supposed to be going to bed, but I guess she's not going to. She still has to do that dumb rub your belly thing. So let's wait till she does that. And that <laughs> is freaking weird. What the heck? Okay, well, whatever. I'm just uh, raising all of their stats here. Wake the heck up, fool! Get up! Get up! Yes, I'm talking to you, Drake. Get the heck up. Girl, who told you to go to sleep? Your energy is all the way up. Get up. Everybody get up. Isn't there a way to do this with the mailbox that'd be much easier? 99% sure there is, so we're just gonna do this. Make all happy. Get up. Yup. Watch, somebody's gonna come in here and, here and interrupt me, like, right now. Right now. So everybody's getting up, everybody's motives are up, and somebody clean up this kitchen. That is nasty. Disgusting. Um, I just realized something. We don't have Bonilda. We should get Bonilda. Does anybody actually want to get her so we can probably get, like, little lifetime points off of that? Nope. So, let's see. Um, she wants to brush Salem. Heck no, heck no, heck no. Crap, I don't know what the gender of this child's actually gonna be, so we should probably go to the hospital and check that out. Um, a removal sim found, uh, again, that's from a mod I have. Let's try to ignore that. These some of those little pop-ups that come up, and yeah, everybody's kind of doing something right now. But what I want to do right now, one, is raise up some relationships here. You are gonna all be best friends with each other. I like to take advantage of the episode in which I use cheats. I only do this once every LP. I may raise this to twice because I freaking love my cheats. It's a problem. I know a lot of people don't like it when LPers use cheats. A lot of you do. So I kind of like to keep it at a minimum when I can. Um, but yes, this is going to be the little cheat special for those of you who do like it. Um, so just going to raise all of the relationships here as well. As well. So now everybody in the household won't be a stranger. I hate when that happens. Um, they don't get along. She is friends with a random child. Okay, that's completely normal. Not really. Kind of disturbed. Become friends with Salem. Oh, it's bald guy. Be friends with that bald guy. Who's apparently your boss. And be friends with your boss too. Okay? Okay. Okay. Um, and 
I think that's all I really need. It looks like Drake has really taken liking at Salem. He has chosen Salem as his BFF. Oh my gosh, Biffles! Uh, I'm sorry, I'm probably being so irritating right now. This is what happens when I use the internet. I My personality just <laughs> implodes. And that totally sounded like a fart. Yep. Um, so it's kind of 1am and I actually will call them up. So I may as well go show off the Weatherstone. Mm -hmm. Teleport in time. Woot woot, teleport, teleport. I'm too hyper right now. Jesus, take the wheel. Jesus. Alright, so let's start showing off some of this Weatherstone ability. So we're gonna summon the Bewitching Rain, and this may or may not end well, so I'm still gonna try it out here. And girl, you look like you're being possessed by the Exorcist. Look at her. Oh god, and it's blinking. But this ac honestly actually looks kind of cool, not gonna lie. She's gonna summon the Bewitching Rain, and I kind of already explained all of these things. The the first episode of this LP, I think it was. It was no, of course the Weatherstone didn't exist then. I explained this all in seasons, I think it was. I don't know when I explained that actually. It's been too long. Girl, she almost tripped into the little electrocuting thingies. Girl, go away. In the meantime, while she does this, Jane. Uh, okay, you're talking to werewolf guy over here. Nope. Where's your husband? Where did I teleport her husband? Is he still at home? Yeah, he's he's still asleep at home. He's like, screw you. Sweet Jesus. And now the bewitching rain is falling. Sabrina Salem has been gifted with the bewitching rain. Yay! Whoop to do! Aren't you glad? Get, get up. Get up and teleport here and go like talk to your wife. They're all gonna get sick. They're gonna get sick. Whatever. We're gonna have these um people who are married with each other interact since they never really do. It's kinda weird. I I never really have my sims talk to each other, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Have the quiche. As for Sabrina, go talk to Dean Gray in the white rain. That's always cute. Go flirt or something. Go and be cute. Because we do want to get you guys in a relationship. So she's like, you know what, Jane, get out of my face. I gotta go flirt with this guy. I love how they're all up in their grill. Okay, you know what? How is. Yes, Sabrina is over here. She's in your way. Mm hmm. Oh, and she already wants to woohoo with um, the Dean here. Okay, well, I don't have a problem with that, I guess. So we're gonna go ahead, romantic. Emma's hug. All oh, that, because it's cute. Hold hands. <laughs> and then, you know, Isabel Tinkerson is just o over here, like, forever alone. Like, everybody has somebody about me. Don't worry. We'll, <laughs> we'll find you someone. It'll be okay. Nobody too upset. Oh look, a rock. You can be friends with this rock. Come to me, rock. Come to me. Go collect it. And apparently 40 vehicles have been removed. Wonderful. So yes, you can come be friends with this rock. People get mad at me because I go wash my clothes in the river with the rock. I, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. What on earth was that high pitched noise? What, on, what in the world? Mm. So yes, this is perfectly normal in a random field with a weather stone flirting inches. Um, so yes, they're being all cute. Let's see, what are you guys still only flirty? That kind of sucks. So here, um, flirt some more. Go ahead and do that. And um, Jane, something that would be normal to tell your husband, you know, um, trying to click on him, and it. <laughs> Game. Stop it. Stop it. Game. Okay. There. Announce pregnancy because that's, that's nice. It's kind of a nice thing to tell him. Not, wouldn't be too nice if you just come home and then you're like, oh, here's our child. He's like, what? <laughs> when did this happen? And it seems as though he's taken the news well. That That's great. Very good. Very good. As for Sabrina, she's just like, mm, yep, I like you. I like you. I'm not just gonna talk now. He's gonna compliment her appearance. Ooh, they're being cute. They're being cute. So romantic. We're going to confess attraction. Yes. And then first kiss. Ew, the back hair. Yeah, nasty shape that. So there, just being all flirty now, and I'm all up in my Sims faces. 
So cute. And now they're just talking about kids and stuff, which is also cute. I'm gonna say the word cute way too much. Yep, already overusing it. Did, um, Isabel go home? What is she doing? Oh, she's still standing over here with the, with the whole rock thing, so... May as well analyze it. Let's see. Get smelted? No, just go home. Oh, you know what? She was like, single, um, dance party, I guess. Oh, and here's a little mood lid that came with the bewitching rain. Isabel can't say why, but suddenly she must dance. <laughs> dancing is the only way to escape the darkness. From dancing in the bewitching rain. That's, <laughs> that's actually funny. Whoever wrote this, genius. Is that everybody's mood lit from the rain, though? Everybody get something? Here we go. Um, bewitching rain. The magical rain compels Sims to move in strange ways. It does not s soak the skin, yet it does cleanse the soul. That was deep. And I guess nobody else is really all that affected by it. Um, whoa! A vampire! Yeah, you're kind of married to him. But yeah, I guess not everybody was really all that affected. Whatever. So, before we have everybody at home... We're actually gonna go ahead and propose going steady. I mean, they already do share rooms, so it's kind of like, may as well have them date. Yeah, you two can go home too. Take your wife home. Aw, they are so cute. I think they're my favorite couple right now. Yep. Actually, no. Out of all my LPs, my favorite couple is probably gonna be always and forever Lydia and Darren. Yep. I ship that way too hard. So, let's see, um, we may as well have this chick garden, I mean, it's well she's gonna, so we're gonna have her come home, tend her garden, there we go, her rock and her garden are her best friends. So I'm just gonna put her rock out here actually, where is it? Yes, we're gonna put her a little thing of silver out here, is that the only rock, is that the right rock? No, it's the large space rock. Oh, dang, it was that big. I didn't notice it was that big. Yeah, this this large space rock is her best friend. Can we name it? No, we can't. Whatever. So a large space rock and her garden are her best friends. And I guess we can have these two also head home now. It's nice. We're making progress here. We're making progress. This is how I honestly actually play. I hate wasting time waiting for my sims to sleep and stuff. It's just like, bleh, come on. Like, come on. And Drake has to go to work in an hour, so may as well use that make happy cheat again. Make all happy. Because we want him to have a, you know, swell day at work. Get a promotion. Make us some moolah. As for Dean on his way home, Jane is just chilling here. Is she getting any bigger? Just a little bit. You can you can barely tell, like barely. And we're gonna go ahead and waste some money here. Go to the hospital. This comes with a mod. We can get ultrasound scan here. We're gonna go check the gender of the child, and I'm kind of hoping it's a female, honestly. Just a little bit. Just a bit. Just a bit. Let's see. I wanna look at the lifetime rewards real quick. That came with the supernatural. There's apparently one that if you're a witch, you can like use your hands um, as your magic magical thing instead of using wands. Does that make sense? So I'm gonna go ahead and look for that. Where are you? You're somewhere in here. Um, watch me have passed it actually. Well, I know it's in here. I've seen it before. And then there's also the flying vacuum which you get at um, 10,000 so we are gonna have to get that. That sounds like fun. So change of taste, observant. Um, I just wanna, I wanna find it to show you what it says exactly. Still looking, still looking. I'm standing way too close to my computer and burning my eyes out, but looking. Magic hands, right here. Wow, that's 20,000, but wands are for amateurs. Real witches can do magic with only their hands, and their spells never fail. So I wanna, I wanna get those two for her, just because it would be really interesting to see. Swimming back into the house here. Somebody has to spend time with this cat because this poor, this poor cat just doesn't get any attention. So Sabrina, you are the cat lady. You come, you come deal with this cat. 
so come here. Where are you going? Affection, feed treat, go to Schmoochie, talk to it. Um, yeah, but I, I want to try to get my sims to interact with each other a little more. It's kind of hard to do that when your sims have so many other things to do and you're kind of dealing with their motives slash needs and all that. So, um, that's again another reason I use cheats in real life. Um, outside of my LPs and stuff like that. It's because I, I like to have my sims interact with each other. One LP -er I watch called the demo with some numbers at the end. He like really gives his characters like personalities and all that and his sims actually interact with each other and that's what they really like about LPs when they do that. So yeah, she's just gonna go in here and talk to the kitty cat. Those cats are cute. I really want a cat. If you guys don't understand. I'm such a cat lady. Oh, <laughs> it's so cute. Is this gonna give it another treat? Oh no, she's picking it up now. And yay! Um, Tinkerbell improved her skill to level 4. When I say Tinkerbell, I always feel like I'm talking about Paris Hilton's dog. Like, Tinkerbell and all that like I just I, s I hear her voice in my head calling her dog and it's just like oh my gosh I cringe I cringe <laughs> so is this the ultrasound is almost done kind of scared to see what the gender is closing my eyes no. and it's a boy <laughs> did you note the excitement in my voice hopefully you did and now it's time for Dini to go to work as well. He's crap. He used to work on his logic. Crap. I'm going to have to get him a tablet. Hold up. Since when do we have all these medals and stuff? <gasps> 15,000. Holy. <laughs> Look how much that is worth. Look at that. We're selling that. Oh my god, we are rich. Can we move out? Oh, okay. Hold up. When did we get all of this? When did I send this out? I don't remember receiving any of this. When did this happen? Some of the rest of this really isn't worth much, but... The 15,000 thingy, that was just like... Whoa! I'm going to get this stuff smelted then. After he gets out of work, at least. Or, I may as well head it to Miss Little Fairy here to do, but like... Dang! That is freaking awesome! We have 20,000 civilians. Oh my gosh! <laughs> okay, well now I'm actually kind of excited because we have money and we're not like dead poor. Um, so you little Miss Fairy, what is your fairy magic level again? And this thunder is like gonna give me a seizure. It needs to stop. Um, yeah, it's almost at level 6, so I'm gonna go ahead and raise that by using the whole balloon thing. Um, one way, when your bloom is starting to run out, you'll see in a sec, since this is my whole cheats episode, um, when it starts to run out, and you have the little moodlet here that says it's, like, waning or something, if you have testing cheats enabled true typed in, you'll, you'll see it in a moment. Um, and you click on it, like, hit control and click on it, it will- oh, oh, crap, okay. Bloom again. Bloom a few more times, it's okay. Oh, she's crying! No, it's okay, dearie. Pat on the back, it's okay, you tried. Do it a few more times, you'll get used to your fairy magic. There we go, see? See, so now that her fairy magic is going down, you're gonna see, it says it's waning. So if you hit control, and click on it, it goes away and it regenerates the whole um, magic little level that you have left. So I, I like that. I think that's good. So we're going to go ahead and continue blooming this, getting her fairy magic up. I'll just cue it a few times to go. So we'll harvest a few of them. See? And everyone wants to get back at those roommates who just stay up late causing all kind of kinds of ruckus. Isabel can now fairy trap a sofa or a love seat and zonk them out temporarily. Isabel can also use Skivvy's trick to let a sim know it's time for bed. So we're actually gonna try that couch one right now. Set fairy trap. And we'll check that out in just a moment. Um, let me have my guy sims power work. Use workout facility. Independent case. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not 
not gonna take that whole risky thing there. We're gonna have him just work hard and get promotions. That's what we re need right now. We need the money. Ha 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 ha, Mr. Krabs voice. And how is she soaked? She's been inside the house the whole time. See, yes, now we're starting to see a difference here. Look at that. Look at that. Um, we're gonna go ahead and take off this learn painting skill thing. She wants to eat spaghetti. Nope. I'm torturing you right now, dearie. Um. She's gonna go use the magic mirror and ask a bit about its day. Isn't that Tinkerbell's job, being forever alone? Huh? The carpool will come for Jane in about an hour. Oh yeah, I forgot she has a job. What? Is she just having a kid? You're still expecting her to go to work? Psych. Okay, so you, my dear, you are actually gonna go- or no, Jane, that is. You are going to go over here to that place behind the library again and Start studying more on the supernaturals, entering trivia contests, because she can still do that. Oh, we can't enter trivia contests anymore? Oh no, it's at six. So we're gonna research this. As for you, we are going to have you come take the alchemy class, because it's only 100 simoleons. And it, it helps, it really does. Um, we can apparently become a business partner, but I'm not gonna do that. I never really get into that much of these kinds of games, you know. Unless it's my own personal game and I want my sim to be like super rich and kind of own everything in town. I don't usually do that too much. So Isabella, you know, quit complaining, little Tinkerbell. We need you to... to oh, she set the trap. She was like, no, you guys have to come sit down. Why? I guess, well, we have nobody to really sit on it anymore because everybody left. So let's go find something to do then. Let's do that. Let's go find some friends. People actually talk to us. I sound like Beatrice from Kingsley's videos. Um, if you guys watch Kingsley, you'll know what I'm talking about. Okay, we're gonna have her head up to the toadstool, maybe rig the machine a few times. And how long have I been recording? I honestly don't care. This could be a long video. Since I really haven't put it out too much, may as well let it be long, let you guys enjoy it. Right? Right? Is that good logic? I don't know. So we're gonna have her head out here, go ahead, rig the machine, since it seems like <laughs> there's nobody we'd actually want to talk to here. So cheat the system. Jane steps into the vault of antiquity, and is overwhelmed by the number of books within so much knowledge in such a small place. She closes her eyes and reaches for a book. So she can go ahead and do that. So we are visiting the toadstool, cheating system, blah blah blah. So Jane is doing that. Sabrina is taking the alchemy class. And we'll just speed through this. This is kind of wasting time. Werewolves are natural survivors. Jane can't help but wonder if she could survive in the wilderness as some werewolves do. What survival ability would she like to test? It doesn't really matter physical stamina as much as it matters food gathering. So we'll study that. So let's see if she actually gets something. Yes, she got us a toy boat. We can save that toy boat for um, Jane's soon-to-be child, right? I don't see why it's so important that um, she can cheat the system, especially when um, any sim can just go and do it, since the machine is kind of already free. I don't see why it's so important that we cheat the system. We'll continue to do that a few times, because we are cheaters. <laughs> it kind of goes with the theme of our episodes. Cheats, cheats, cheats. As for Dean, it seems like the guys will be- yeah, the guys are definitely getting out of work soon. We'll do that. Oh, is he getting a promotion today? Please let him get a promotion today. I would, I would surely appreciate that Drake get a promotion. So let's see. Um, travel China. Psych! Um, Drake left work. Drake earned 209 and he didn't get a promotion. That's so sad. Aww. It seems like she's grabbing just a whole bunch of toys from this machine, maybe. I guess we're all gonna watch our kids. And yes, he did get a promotion! And he got a bonus of 420 and now he makes 46 an hour. That is awesome. Um, do we know any of his co-workers, actually? Nope. Well, that kind of sucks. Oh, well. So you kind of... Just to meet all his co-workers, we can do that. Totes and the goats. And now he is at level 3 of the business career, which is actually kind of lame. Uh, I kind of expected him to be farther than this by now, but... 
we'll just have to deal. And let's see, she can go home, so can Jane. Jane fainted? What in the world? Okay, Jane, come on, get up. Get up. This is definitely not good for her child. Now go ahead, um, research the supernatural some more. Come on. Did anybody just see that? This girl thinks she's a dog looking in the rain. Go inside. You should be ashamed. Um, a little tip. She's made after my sim self. If I haven't said that already a billion times, I really don't remember what I say during these LPs. Keep that in mind. Um, okay, so let's see. Jane steps in. Okay, yeah, we read that before. And now, Drake, what is you doing? You is in the kitchen. You don't belong there. You're not a female. Um, <laughs> come and research alchemy. Nope, wait, that's not your job. Go do something else. What can he really do? Nothing. And he doesn't work in two days either, so he's kind of useless right now. Useless vampire. Um, go suck someone's blood or something. What is his lifetime wish? Um, to drink from... 20 sims, and turn 5 of them, so he may as well turn his wife, that's easy enough. It'd be kind of cool to see her be a vampire, right? Right? It'd be kind of be sad if she like, just dies before him, you know what I mean? And congratulations, Dean, Im Dean's impressive performance has earned him a promotion to patrol officer as well as a bonus of 660 simoleons. Hey, he made so much more than... Um, Drake, wow. So that's good. Just gonna exit out some of those little notifications there. And let's see. What level is Dean now? He is level 4. Good, good, good. So we have to now start working on reports or something like that. Is it something we'd have to use a computer for? Oh, I forgot we sold the computer. Kind of is no place to put it at this point. Kind of sucks. Um, just gonna check this out. If we were to, let's say, move, where would we be able to? <gasps> okay, well, I'll show you guys that in a second. But if you didn't already notice, something was going on with Sabrina on the couch. Hold up. Alright, so let's see, where would we actually be able to buy property? This crappy little small house over here, which is definitely a no. Um another small house. Maybe I would just have to build one. I haven't done that in a while though. Yeah, we may just end up building one kind of close to where we already live. By this little river over here so we can still be by the river and lake. Yep, that's, that's just how it's gonna be. Okay, we'll move to that lot in the next part. You'll see us in a new building. Yay! So... Um, now exiting out. But as you can see, <laughs> the little couch fairy trick kind of worked on Sabrina here as soon as she sit down to read, sat down to read her book. And now she's going to end up being knocked out. She was pranked. What tastes worse, the embarrassment or the humiliation? Ooh. And situations like this should be avoided at all costs. So... Tricked by a fairy, sneaky fairy got the best of Sabrina. She can't believe she fell for that. So now she's gonna end up being knocked out on the couch. Or something like that, isn't that? I, I don't really use fairy magic a lot, so I don't really know how what, what happens here. Why is she just scooting over on the couch? Is she trying to get a nice view of his butt or something? Or she's cross-eyed now, sweet Jesus, what is going on? What just happened? Okay, you're embarrassed, we get it. Was, that was the fairy trick? Just a whole bunch of sparkles? Pff, impressive. If I were looking for sparkles, I would've went to see Edward Cullen. I'm ashamed. Go research your alchemy. Just, just go. Just go. Um, she's at alchemy level 5. Let's try to get that to level 6. And let's boost all of their motives up. Oh, what is this? Uh, supernatural population control. What? Again, these little options you are seeing here all come with testing to enable true if you just hit the shift button and click on the mailbox. 
while in testing cheats in Able True, you will see all those options. And she was paid eighty dollars personal time off. That is sad. That's so sad. I need to reach athletic level, whatever he's at. Go to sleep. Let's go. Let's go. You're kind of useless right now. <laughs> I really have no use for him. Um, Dini, what do you need to do? We kind of have a little bit of money. Sure, we're trying to save for the house, but I want to get a tablet so he can start getting his um logic up. He definitely needs that for work, so. It's under hobbies and skills. Right here. Tab. Right there. Limo tea tab. And I just realized something. Isn't Sabrina a kleptomaniac? We need to get on that. We need to have her go steal some cars and chiz. Let's go. Let's see. Um, where's logic? Right here. So Sabrina, let's find a big house to go ahead and steal from, shall we? So yes. And I have a great idea. Who would make duffs? Actually, no. They have cheap furniture. They are tacky. Let's go to. Who has good furniture that I know in this town? Fairies, maybe. I know a house in this town that usually has good stuff, but I'm not sure exactly where it is. Who lives here? Oh, nobody lives here. What? Okay, well, never mind. Because I know a house definitely has like a flat screen or something. Alright, what about this house? No one lives here either. Okay, we'll send them away from that. The McDuff house. We're just gonna end up going here. Screw it. Teleport here. For that matter. Trying to click on the house. There we go. Ooh, holiday house lights. Let's do it. Let's do custom color. Type in a whole bunch of crap here. Let's go. It's gonna be five five five. Three three three. Two one zero. Let's try that. I don't think it goes up to five though. Never mind. Let's go ahead and do one three one. Let's try this out. And it doesn't really look like it's a color. It's just green. Really? Okay, well, never mind. That was pretty much useless. Oh, and <laughs> now this McDuff guy is attracted to Sabrina. Perfect. Perfect. Sorry, bro, but we, we kind of just came here to steal your furniture. So. So, oh, they're apparently rich. Psych. Look at their crappy furniture. Um, so where do we go to steal first, hmm? Seems like they have a garden here. I want a computer, though. Um, do they have anything nice down here? It seems so. Nice little bar area and stuff. Swipe here. Um, why isn't it letting her swipe? She's a kleptomaniac. Is it at 7 o'clock? I'm assuming it's 7 o'clock. Yeah, we're gonna just wait. Five, four, three, two, one, come on. And now. Oh. Swipe something. Yes. Oh. Didn't mean to click that. Swipe something. Swipe something. And swipe something. And sometimes let us see you do four times a day. So we'll just we'll just see what she steals. And it better not be a lamp. Yes, steal that chair. Steal that chair. PewDiePie would be proud. Just your chair. Okay. There you go. Next. The TV. Come on. The TV. Or the microwave. Okay. There we go. Stolen. Next. She didn't steal a microwave. She stole a cabinet. Girl, nobody wants them crappy cabinets. Yes, the chess table. The chess table. You. And you know, it's not completely obvious that you took any of this stuff. Not at all. Oh, she didn't take the table. She took the lights. Cheap bum. You cheap bum. And Jane, I think it's a little too late to actually do the contest now, so she's gonna head home. And I think this is where I'm gonna end the part. Uh, I'm kind of already losing my voice, actually. You didn't notice that, so I wasn't talking as much. But 
Yeah, we're gonna end it here. I think we were kind of productive, right? Just a bit. So we're gonna go ahead and ditch here, and I'll see you guys in the next part. Hopefully you enjoyed. Sorry there hasn't been a part of this in a while. And yeah, I love you guys, and goodbye.